This story, this story is from the Carolinas, where I used to live. It's called, I won't tell you what it's called, but you'll know soon. On All Hallows' Eve, when the wind was whipping through the gap in the trees and scratching at the sky, the folks around here say you can hear old Tar Pockets screaming. Old Tar Pockets was not his real name. That has been long forgot. Some say that he was just an old man living up in the holler, away from the other folks. But they also say he was a greedy old man. Even that it wasn't safe to say howdy without him taking a good hold of your hat. He met his ruination one Halloween, you see. He was prospecting for a little something to eat, handy in his neighbor's barn while his neighbor was tar in the roof. By the barn sat an open bucket of warmed up tar. I'd like to get me some of that tar, he thought. It might come in real handy one day. Well, the old man looked around, but he couldn't find anything to put it in. So his neighbor, when he wasn't looking, he dipped a stick full of that soft, warm tar out of that bucket and plopped it right into his pocket. And that's how he got his name, Old Tar Pockets. Well, then he spied a few scraggly sweet potato plants the last of the season in the neighbor's garden. And so old Tar Pockets began to dig and dig and dig and he dug up a hairy toe. It was big and was covered in coarse brown fur with a long yellow toenail curving over the end. Well, that old man wasn't sure what he was going to do with it, but he held to the old saying, finders keepers. And so we took that toe and he stuffed it into his pocket. Old Tar Pockets carried those stolen golden sweets and he cooked them up a mess of greens and taters for supper. And then he remembered he had that toe. So he reached into his pocket, but he couldn't pull it out. You see, the tar had cooled down and it hardened up a bit and the toe was stuck fast. In fact, the old man couldn't get his hand out either. His hand was stuck to the tar on the toe and his toe was stuck on the tar in his pocket. Old Tar Pockets decided that he'd get ready for bed. And tomorrow when the sun was out, he'd warm up his jacket and soften up that tar and pull everything out as slick as you please. But just then, the wind began to rise and whistle around the windows and outside the trees began to jerk around and claw at the sky. And old Tar Pockets, he heard a question on the voice of the wind and it hissed about the corner of his house and it asked, who took my hairy toe? Well, the old man opened the door and he stared out in the dark woods beyond the house um, just my imagination, he thought, as he turned to shut the door. And then he heard it again, a little louder and a little closer. Who took my hairy toe? Quickly, he closed and barred the door with his free hand, and he latched the window, and he pulled up the curtains. It was dark in his little house. And still the wind came through the chinks in the walls and he could hear the question again and again, getting louder and closer. Who took my hairy toe? Who took my hairy toe? Well, old Tar Pockets raked out the fire and he stopped up the chimney with his rags and nothing was gonna get inside. But he heard the voice again, this time right outside his door. Who took my hairy toe? 
standing wide-eyed in the middle of the, in the center of the room the old man began scratching at the latch and he heard it and the clacking of the claws drawn down the wood of the door old tarpock as he jumped into bed as fast as he could and he yanked the quilt up over his head but he could still hear the question first at one window and then at the other who took my hairy toe who took my hairy toe suddenly there was a mountain bending shriek of wind that blew against the old house with such force that the door cracked and lay in two pieces gaping open and just as quickly the wind died down and in the hush that followed the old man could hear his heart a thumping and he could hear the thump screech thump screech of heavy feet approaching his bed in the dark who took my hairy toe old tar pockets couldn't take it any longer and he sat up in bed and he stared at the darkest dark that he'd ever known it was two fiery red eyes staring right back at him and he smelt foul breath and felt the sharp claws as the beast reached out toward him and the old man flipped back the covers with the one of his with his free hand and he cried here here it is i got it here in my pocket take it the beast moaned he'd found his hairy toe but the toe was stuck in old tar pocket's pocket with a shriek the red-eyed beast grabbed him the old man and he tucked him under his arm and ran out of the house and into the october night now when ghosts and goblins haunt the hills and the wind is rising in the treetops they say you can hear the shrieks of the angry beast if you listen carefully you can hear an old man screams too as beast and man wander the valleys and the ridges of the mountains together forever. The kindly folk around here say, pay that no, never mind. That's just old tar pockets getting his due. But I say, just as long as what's in your pocket is yours, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs>